Hello everyone, welcome back to the Revival. Uh, we had a bit of a hiccup in the last game. Fortunately, Chelsea drew their match 0-0. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> we had a massive, massive fucking hiccup. Last game against Bournemouth, we drew 2 all, thanks to a 90th minute equaliser from Solanke, which was the most ridiculous goal you've ever seen in your life. Played from pretty much the halfway line, it completely bypassed our entire defence. He took one touch over the shoulder on his right foot to take it onto his left, and then with his left, bent it around the goalkeeper. It was uh, the sort of finish that you would expect from Lionel Messi, rather than Solanke. Uh, but there you go, it is what it is. We drew the match, we should have won it. That's pretty much the match in a nutshell. Uh, as for today, well, we're looking a little bit sorry for ourselves in a couple of areas. So, Hendricks is going to miss out for Juan Fran. And Timo Werner played very well last time out, getting himself a goal. But, unfortunately, he's not looking too hot today. Just wondering what we can do regarding that. Uh, well, we could always put Joel Linton on in his place. He's a very different kind of player, obviously. Um, Paredes has got a turn of pace about him and he's very strong he can finish hmm decisions, decisions well, we know Joel Linton we know what he brings to the team he's got pace either side of him so I guess we're going to go with that it is the mighty Manchester United we're playing against today Anana in goal, Maguire, Marcano, Shaw and Dalot, Fred, Pogba, Martial, Lingard, Pizzi and Marcus Rashford. Let's see what we can do against this mob. So here we are at Old Trafford against the, uh, I was going to call them the old enemy, but I don't think there's any massive enmity between Newcastle and Manchester United, so we'll just call them the Red Devils, leave it at that. Defending in numbers there, United. Desperate to keep us out. Here's Willems on the left-hand side. Can't quite manage to squeeze the cross around Dalot. But it's okay, we win the throw-in nonetheless. And Kunku now to Willems from deep. Crosses it in with his right foot. Interesting, he had time. Oh, what a goal! What an absolutely glorious header! And it's that man, Joe Linton. We talked about how he's able to get up there and stay up there and get his head on the ball. Interestingly, this cross from Willems on his weaker foot, and it was pinpoint accurate. Joe Linton just had to jump up and make contact. Incredible to see that the left back, with such a wand of a left foot, actually chose to use his right on that situation. And not only that, he got it on target. 1-0 Newcastle. Now we started quite well against Bournemouth the other game and unfortunately they pegged us back quite quickly. We were unable to defend on the edge of our penalty area. So I don't want to make the same mistake but I don't want to go gung-ho for a second goal immediately. So we'll just pass it around make sure that we've got control of the ball. Oh dear. Linton doing a good job of chasing around after the ball. And 
Kunku making the run, but the pass not quite right for him. And now United have possession, and they flood forward in huge numbers. Almost chasing after Rashford. I don't know if he'll catch him. He has managed to somehow. And his persistence pays off. Newcastle win the ball. And a lovely lob ball, which Joel Linton is doing his best to get onto. Not quite able to manage it. But it does take the pressure off momentarily and allows Newcastle to reform their ranks behind the ball. Joel Linton, lots of power, lots of strength. Plays it in. Newcastle just ping-ponging the ball in. Oh, he's offside there. Surely he is. That's a real shame. Newcastle were absolutely battering the, new, the Manchester defence there. You can see from the possession. It's been pretty much all Newcastle's way so far. This is nice. Ah, uh, it's unfortunate. Everything up until the finish was picture perfect. Good pressure from Newcastle again on the Manchester United back line. They're forced into lobbing it long. Newcastle pick up the ball and they're able to build again. Uh, it was tempting. Far too tempting for Junior. He's not a natural finisher, not by any means. And from that distance, he would have had to be very, very good to get it on target. And unfortunately, he got it nowhere near. Worth a try, though. Newcastle looking pretty solid in the air as of now. Again, United try that flighted forward ball, but it's just not working for them. And I expect to see them change pretty soon from that tactic. Because it is not paying dividends in the slightest. Newcastle a little bit fortunate with that ball. That's a lovely through ball to Joel Linton. Not able to cling on to it. And now United looking to play the ball forward. And again, they play it backwards. And it just takes a little edge off of their attack. And there's that long ball. And again, Newcastle more than capable of defending it. And they come away with the ball now, trying to build from the back. That's not a great ball from Willems. He didn't have too many options, in fairness. No one really showing for it. Another lob ball. Another Newcastle turnover. Willems on the flank. Moves it infield. Comes back out to Willems. Will he get onto it? I don't think he will. Uh, he wins it off of the... Oh, for goodness sakes. Didn't think that was a foul at all. Joel Linton going to put pressure on the goalkeeper. Out it goes. Headed backwards to Hummels. And now Newcastle can start again from the back. Oh, that's nice. Oh, ho, ho, everything until the finish. It's a shame that the finish didn't match the pass because it was a peach. But at 1-0 at half-time, we could be happy with our work. We've looked good. We've looked solid. I can only hope that it continues like this in the second half because at the moment, United, Manchester that is, have been second to pretty much everything. Here come Newcastle then. Ah, that's very good. And it's a free kick to Newcastle. Edge of the United penalty area. Nothing too bad. Just a little bit of a clash. He's had his foot stood on. 
So here we go, Vinicius Junior standing over the ball. He's going to try and float it over the wall. He's probably not put enough on that. He's not, and the deflection takes it into the hands of the goalkeeper. And that is the first aerial duel that United have won today. And it's all very nearly resulted in a goal. Rashford getting his shots away before anyone could re really react. And that's basically the combination that they've been looking for all along. Up to Rashford, onto Martial, and then back into Rashford again. United get the ball back. Newcastle, that is. I'm so used to just calling us United and referring to Manchester as purely United. He might be offside here, Maximan, but if he's not, he's not. He's got a chance. Crosses it in, header right into the hands of the goalkeeper. In truth, it was a little bit too far out to really stand a chance of troubling him. Newcastle getting in each other's way where it comes to try and winning those aerial balls. Going to have to be a little bit more smart about that. And United are going to have a chance here. Well blocked by the Newcastle players. That'll do. Oh, that's lovely. That's very nice, and it's a great save from the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic reflexes. Maximan not happy about something. I think he feels that Shaw may have failed him. And how is, how is that? Oh, my word. Okay, they've given a foul against Maximan. That's why he didn't look happy. Manfran on the right-hand side, crosses the ball in, Joel Linton header, goalkeeper equal to it. And on the 63-minute mark, we'll take a look at the side. Pretty much everything looking okay. We'll just cancel the attacking full-backs at this point. There's no need to keep them bombing forward like that. Ay, ay, ay. Shelby looking to put a little bit of pressure on the midfield. Not able to get the ball, but he does manage to put enough pressure on to force the mistake. Unfortunately, Newcastle give the ball away straight away. It's a good strike. It's clean. The goalkeeper more than able to cover his own post. Ball comes out. Wanfran now on the right hand side. Dinks it over Rashford. Very cheeky. That goes out of play for a Newcastle throw. Pellegri coming on for Rashford. This is a bit of an unknown quantity as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure of the player. I'm sure some of you have probably heard of him already. Ah, no. Just a little bit too weighty, that pass. Nice idea. But the pass just let it down. And United really are starting to win those headers a lot more often. Oh dear, oh dear. Junior just unresponsive. Just stood there and allowed himself to be tackled. Have to keep an eye on that. Now Shaw coming off for Palomino. Manchester United literally bringing a horse on to back themselves up in midfield. 
now we're going to have to play it long. Something's happened to United during the half time where they're now just able to win headers all over the place. That goes out for a goal kick. In fact, it's a free kick thanks to an offside. going to play Maximan off of the left hand side he does seem to play better for us out there he certainly gets more shots on and Paredes having done so well in that right wing forward position is coming on once again for us Machia can come on at left full back most of the traffic is going down the left hand side anyway and for the last few minutes we will reinstate attacking full backs should just give us a little bit more going forward. Ah, oh, that's a bad pass, and it's really left us open to attack here. United on us like a rash and we can't get hold of the ball even when we win the tackle this could be danger ball comes out to Joe Linton he's got no one around him does well to hold on to the ball and now there's more options up front here's Paredes Maximan back to Paredes out to Machio on the left, crosses the ball in. Maximan goes for the header. And a snapshot on the turn, not accurate enough. And it ends up rolling painlessly past the post. And now Nkunku pulling up with some kind of injury. That's just fantastic. Luckily, we do have one substitution left. Almiron coming on for the Crocs and Kunku. It's a natural change. Does leave us very lightweight in midfield. There's no bite in the challenge in that midfield now whatsoever. But we do win a header. Makes a nice change. And that's it. Final score, 1-0 to Newcastle United. Far, far, far from convincing the second half really a bit of a slog all of the damage done in the first half most of the impressive football in the first half as well but we'll take it it's another three points on our road here's the goal after seven minutes Willems with that lovely pinpoint cross and Joel Linton with an equally adept header crashing in off of the top of the crossbar there beautiful goal So that's it, full time. And you can see there, Newcastle absolutely dominating the game. Didn't feel like it in that second half, but certainly most of the damage done in the first 45 minutes. Joe Linton getting the man of the match quite deserved. Willems getting a seven thanks to that assist. And to Thibaut and Hayden, the cream of the crop where it comes to the other defensively minded players, both scoring 6.5. And would you look at that, Chelsea have slipped up yet again. It was one all against Everton. And that means, if my maths are correct, that we are, yes, in fact, at the top of the table once again. 
Played 22, won 16, drawn 4 and lost 2. We've scored one less goal, but fortunately we are a lot more Scrooge-like at the back. Only 9 conceded. Right, it looks as though there have been no bids for any of our players, so we're going to go into negotiations. We're going to have a look at listed players, and we are going to make an offer, another offer, for Arja. Now he's valued at £42 million. Pounds. I am again going to offer them cells three year deal hundred and one grand and let's think about this. Try 37 plus Lascelles and we'll offer them 20% selling on option because I've got no intention of selling him on. And then we're going to absolutely ramp up all of this stuff. And we'll see how that goes. If we fail with this bid, then maybe we will have to move our attention elsewhere. Romagnoli is on the transfer list. But I do like Arja. So, Junior is now being called Mr. Intelligence. I, I do actually quite like that one. And uh, Nkunku is a maestro. So, there we go. So, that is that. The next time that you join us... Well, it's going to be for this, isn't it? It's the big showdown, Newcastle versus Chelsea. It's going to be at St. James's Park... It's a huge game. Don't miss it. What a way to end the week. Join me tomorrow. Until then, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.